to in that community are getting serious. Things are getting mixed up and mixed up day by day. Different day come with its own different story, different uh, confusing and heartbreaking story in that community day by day. The grants they promised to disburse to, to Nigerians in that community in Nigeria uh, seems not to have seen the light of the day yet, even till now. And today is another day. It is a new day already. Today is Friday, the 31st of May, 2024. Yet, the grand saga still continues. Different story, different confusing story, heartbreaking story, disappointing story uh, is what we keep seeing day by day. Where is the grant they promise us? Where is the money they promise to disburse to Nigeria? The suffering masses, the dying and suffering uh, frustrated masses in grand community in Nigeria. Which way, Nigeria? Where exactly are we going? Where are we going in this country, Nigeria? Is this how we continue? Is this how we are going to remain? Eh? What is happening to grand community? What is happening to the grants they have promised to they promised to disburse to Nigeria? Different NGOs has come and gone with same disappointing story. Now uh, the Almighty AGPGN that we are all looking up to that uh, God has brought them or God has sent them to put um, the suffering away and to put uh, to wipe away our tears in grand community and put smiles in in our faces concerning this grand disbursement. They seem to have been uh, to be the the ray of light and hope. To Nigerians in grand community concerning this grant uh, disbursement. But where are they today? The story has changed again. And uh, it has finally changed to the time uh, of uh, AGPGN. But you know, one thing I've come to realize today is that um, I've been thinking about it since, uh, since yesterday, all through the night. I didn't have a sound sleep. I was just thinking about it all through the night. That when will the suffering of Nigerians uh, be over? When will God finally? Uh, deliver unto us this uh, grant that we have long waited for and expected to be disbursed to us so that we can use it to set up our life again and be happy once again. When will our suffering be over? When will our cries stop? And when will our tears be wiped off or be wiped away uh, by God himself? Because it's only God himself that can do this because human being has failed in their expertise, they have failed severally and woefully they have disappointed us in grand community in Nigeria. God, when will you come to our rescue finally and deliver us eh, in the hand of uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the tax master that are punishing us even in our own fatherland? Our right has not been given unto us. Day in, day, uh, day out, uh, we are getting uh, different promises, different different disappointing and failed heartbreaking promises instead of the grant they promised to give unto us. When are we going? Where are we going? And when are we going to have this money disposed to us? This is the questions that most people are asking me in my private chat and even in the comment section. Will this grant be disbursed? Is there even money at all to be disbursed? The story they are telling us about this money being available, is it true or false? When is it going to be disbursed? If there is money truly, when will it be disbursed to Nigerians? These are the questions that people are asking. And even myself, I wonder what I should give them for an answer. Because uh, today, I will hear uh, uh, this message, you know, come to me. That will, seems to have, you know, to have given us hope seems to, to be the kind of a message that will liberate us uh, to point to the fact that this money will finally be disbursed to us. Um, by the by the second day or the following week another story will come that will contradict the one that was first given to me and this is what has been playing out day in day out it now finally seems to it seems there is only one there is only one same grant called UAS uh, that was being uh, pursued by one NGO or the other from one NGO or another from all set even right from the day the day of Sam in 2016 till now for disbursement of which even Ken Ken uh, Wakama was uh, was now profiled was profiled to be the one to disburse the money okay but something happened along the way something happened along the line of his pursuit of the pursuit of this same grant uh, whereby AGPG Hen that was once agitator and fighter for the masses uh, have now gotten hold 
of this same grant and uh, and in their own pursuit of it they compromise their way and their integrity you know to disburse the money and rather they change it to disburse peanuts called a palliative to the subscribers in that community which way are we going which way are we going when uh, are we going to have this money disbursed to us who can be trusted in this matter now in this matter of a grand disbursement in nigeria documents were destroyed and uh, and story completely changed from the way uh, it used to be or what we have been told before agpdn which is our grand pressure group of nigeria uh, either to either for greed or just for just for compromised with the body concerned to have to have something to disburse to the suffering masses or the subscribers of the grant uh, removed ken wakama the woken wakama and became grant handler themselves overnight they became grant handler this is very this is very shocking and very disappointing nobody will have even uh, have issue with them being a grant handler overnight if they have stick to their promise and get this money disbursed to nigeria who cares who disbursed the money nobody cares who disbursed the money the main factor the main factor that all nigerians are crying for and expected or they are expecting is that this money should be disbursed we, nobody cares whether it's AJ, AGPJ that disbursed the money or uh, or Ken Wakama that disbursed the money. What Nigeria suffering masses and dying masses want is for this money to be disbursed to us. Eh? Still, uh, want to remain, they want to be, they suddenly become a grand handler, I mean the AGPJ, eh? and they still want to remain an uh, agitator. You see, they still want to remain agitator. Lots of lies and, de- and deception, which eventually divided their camp or divided their group and their house is scattered and divided down even as we speak <laughs> so much to say so much to say about all this saga that is that is you know ravaging and and they're going flying around in grand community uh, in nigeria concerning this very money this very grand disbursement eh? so much to say so much to talk about so much story and news uh, to be exposed or, or, or disclosed all right but until when disbursement happen, before everything that is hidden will be bare open, everything that is hidden will be bare open. UAAG is still lying. UAG is still lying. I mean, uh, laying claim. They are still laying claim of same grants for disbursement. And AGPGN too uh, seems to have, you know, you know, uh, find their way into into the power, to the corridor power, you know, holding. Uh, 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 these grants will be disbursed. AGPGN, having compromised and turned same grants to palliative, is laying claim to same grants for disbursement. Nobody even know what is playing out. Nobody even know what is happening exactly. Nobody can boldly come out to say this is exactly what is happening to this grant disbursement in the uh, uh, in this uh, at this time. Hmm. The whole thing. It's just it's, it's just confusing and uh, and and messed up and messed up. Nobody know anything. Again, here we are, as subscribers, in between both parts, uh, both parties or partners, not knowing who is uh, uh, who is lying and uh, who is saying the truth. Who will even uh, be the one to disburse the money? We, uh, the masses in grant community, the subscribers of the grant. We are just in between, not knowing where to go, not knowing who is saying uh, the truth and who is lying, not knowing who is going to, who will be uh, the one to disburse the money uh, or the amount they have to disburse or when. We are all, we are all, everything is just being, just, ah. in fact, anyway, let's listen to what this comrade got to say concerning the whole thing because the whole thing is just getting me pissed and uh, I'm tired of the whole thing. on the agenda uh, is uh, mass what do we want at this critical time immediate disbursement or another delay now uh, why i wrote this was uh because we have um, a situation right now where i could say that um we are i do not think as a person right now from 
all indication, I do not think there is much left anymore. I don't see anything left that would not allow this bossman to commence any moment from now. After all, uh, how many weeks now? Maybe they have been saying that it can happen any time from now. But what made me to further uh, ask that question, if we want disbursement immediate or we want another delay, is because I've also tried to monitor some, some milestones actually being accomplished, some things that they needed to do in actual facts. And um, I can see that some of those things, in fact, for me, they have done what necessarily should be done for this boss men to commence. So I do not expect any excuse from any quarters at this point as a person based on what I am aware of. So uh, just because I am not the one to do the disbursements, I cannot say. Now, uh, let me finish the point before I explain any further uh, about it. Now, I ask whether we want it now because if they are done, that means we should expect immediate disbursements. I mean, we should expect disbursements without any further delay. Um, now, the other option why I ask whether we want delayed stuff is the way things have been moving now. Let me just begin to put it in so that um, I've been writing about it is, is that the government committee has been working with uh, Pastor John, Pastor Mopitong and um, uh, Comrade Abdul. And so far, they have gotten to where we are right now. So, um, any adjustment to this arrangement, to me, would seem as a delay. Maybe bringing back as we, we had the whole of yesterday, fighting between the two sides of UAG and AGPGN, trying to bring UAG back into it and things like that, or maybe Apostle Kane. For me, I would only see it as a delay, nothing more. So the best thing is we just allow it to flow the way it has been flowing. Yes, mistakes have been made. Uh, some of them grave errors, but we have... Um, I speak that as an observer, but I, I can't speak that as one of them, but maybe from what I'm also observing. Um, um, I'm not, please don't... Uh, misinterpret me i am not representing either side i am saying that the choice of who government committee wanted to work with wasn't my choice okay and also and uh, maybe not the choice of agpgn okay but circumstances circumstances played themselves into where we are today whereby even as you heard from Apostle Cain yesterday, his, uh, his side has been dropped. And so we have a side that government is working with. Whether uh, the amounts are large or whatever will be brought is another question. But the, the, the reason why I ask the question or saying whether we want immediate disbursement or delay was that if we allow the present structure to be upset, all right, we would have um, uh, delays. If anything, you know, like yesterday now, they came up and then they were arguing amongst themselves. You could see AGPG inside fire at UAG, UAG fired back and things like that. If um, from what we know is that uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, some people want to be included. I am saying that if you allow them to be included right now and the thing does not continue the way it's been continuing, then it will bring delay to this process. The issue of petition and all of that, nobody should write petition at this time. It's not worth it. It is only going to set us backward. However, 
to an extent it may not still set us uh, uh, backward it may not still set us backward so um I, I want us to be on the same page with that that this is not my doing um i'm not taking sides i'm only saying that what we have come to see is that government is working with pastor john pastor amupitong and comrade abdul and let's just allow that to go ahead so that we can have speedy disbursement any disturbances or allowing upsets in that balance right now will bring delay that is why i asked that question all right i'm done with that point uh that point uh, number one and uh, let me go to point number two uh, we need to now deal with the issues and not sentiments now where we are right now um with a lot of things being thrown around yesterday back and forth meetings here and there it's obvious that we need to know uh, what is uh, sh what, what the issues are and what sentiments are and we just leave the sentiments and just face what is before us okay what is before us is disbursement that is what we want at this point any uh maybe let us see if we can change the amount to be paid blah blah it's just extra days of delay question is whatever they have made up their minds to bring to the table let them bring it enough is enough we cannot accept any further delay to this let them dispose and things like that so therefore um this is why i said we have to separate issues from sentiments sentiments of you know uh which side you belong sent we, we need to drop all of that right now we just focus on the disbursement and i've already said the side that government is working with let them just go ahead and perfect everything that is left to be done if there is any which i don't think there is anything except maybe going to have a meeting to execute and start this thing i don't think there is anything that they need to do again and again to see what should be done i think most things have been done and perfected therefore we can now move forward and we will now have to hold these people accountable if we didn't see disbursement any time from now because as far as I said, I am concerned, like I said, I believe there is nothing at this point holding this disbursement. If we see any excuses, we really have to find out why such excuses. And to be candid, I don't think we, the masses, will be ready for any further excuses hereafter. Because we believe that most things have been done. With the confessions coming out, you could see write-ups and all of that. Um, uh, uh, you know, from either side of the divide, you know, everybody calling for calm and things like that. So it means nothing should be an excuse any further. The only thing I can say is this. Let it not be that we come to social media and say, let everywhere be peaceful, but behind the scene, we are fighting. I'm talking about AGPGN or the UAAG side now. Because what we've observed uh, for the past uh, one week or two is that when one strategy fails, because we really saw the UAG soldiers come on board, you know, fight back seriously. Now, uh, when one strategy fails, they bring out another one. When one strategy fails, they bring out the other one. So in spite of the fact that we could hear Apostle Ken last Sunday, I think that was last week, Sunday, uh, so who came out and said um, uh, he sues for peace, he's not looking for anything, he himself is not attending any meeting, you understand? But the following the Wahala broke out you know, in the grand community from the side again. So it's more of like you use the social media to speak nicely, but you go behind the scene and still be fighting. We use this meeting and this platform to say enough is actually enough. If you're not fighting in social media, don't also fight behind the scene. If you're actually fighting, come out, let us know exactly what the problem is. But for now, we know that government has chosen a certain direction they're going and there is not much we can do about it. That is the situation. How did we come? I think that will lead me to the next point now. Uh, 
um, the issue of government committee and how we got here, all right? The facts about it. How did we even get to government committee? However, anyway, anything that government has to do, there has to be a committee overseeing that, okay? Most especially being that this is a non-governmental thing, there has to be a government committee to oversee. You know, if we were able to do it by ourselves, I don't think there was going to be need for government committee. But you see, we were not able to do it by ourselves. We fought and fought and fought. And for me, till tomorrow, if you remove government out of this thing and you leave AGPGN and UAAG to continue to negotiate to see if they can reach a common I do not see any possibility of arriving at a solution. We will fight till Jesus returns. That is nothing but the truth. We, because you do not see both sides agree. So if for me, it's even a plus that government came in to like, okay, where do we go? How do we move? Definitely, when you wash your dirty linens in the public, it is left for those that are seeing you to judge who to work with and who is better and who is not good enough. All right, that doesn't mean that, I mean, nobody's perfect. Are, are we together? I mean, there is nobody that is perfect. That is what I mean to say. But when you, if two of us are fighting and we always say all the things that we did in the secret publicly, 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 you will draw attention. The person that is observing you will know who is actually wrong and who is not wrong do you understand me or who is better off and this is where we found ourselves the fight between agpg and uag and all of that the, the those that are involved fighting fighting for endless fights so now if, if government wants to step in to do something they will have a direction is it that they throw the two of them away pick up something fresh or they choose one side to work with so we found ourselves in this place because no side agreed to a common terms of reference issue of greed and exchanges of a lot of no brought about where we are right now so whatever finally will come let us accept it and go our way period that is how i can put it because we have allowed the fight uh, you know, we've watched our dirty linens in the public and then it, we have left the judgment for passerby to do what, to interpret who we are and, and that's it, the way we are. So we found ourselves here, that's how government committee came in. They have decided these are obvious facts and guess what, government knows all you. You see, the truth is, um, uh, government is not really stupid. You understand me? They will be observing and all of that. So, well, let's cut all that short. Yesterday, in the meeting between uh, Aiken and the CEOs, you know, uh, of course, he came to point that he is actually been removed. Do you understand me? UAG is out of this game. So, question is now that um, to those that this uh, thing belongs to right now, they should go ahead and then uh, try to fix it and get this thing going because we don't need any excuse again therefore with that i can now say that with uag not being directly involved again now with akn being set aside let agpgn or the few the, 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 those people working with government committee proceed immediately because they cannot give us excuse again that it is you know one apostle or, or uag that is giving them problem and that is why also i would still reiterate that uag or anyone fighting should not say he's is not is calling for peace in public but behind the scene is still fighting so we don't want to see because we've had such you know media resolution before and they say they have settled they say they have settled next thing you see one write-up from one group from one side coming to public space you just know that they are still fighting we don't want to see such things tomorrow as tomorrow begins now we want the agpgn people that are working with government committee go ahead and give us quick disbursement period we will not you know uh, then any other person uag side should lay down their arms like they are calling for and should not fight be it on social media or behind the scene what we want to begin to see from tomorrow is result things that make us know that this thing will be done and all of that we expect that this month shouldn't pass i mean it's our expectation we have the, the right or right is, is our right to decide when and think we, we we don't want this month to pass we will need you know disbursement 
um let me proceed to the the, the next point and all of that um um the, the issue of which side okay government is working with this i have said they have chosen which side they're working with pastor john pastor amopi chong and um, uh, comrade abdul and all of that and then the issue of taking sides really nobody should take sides at this point just just take side with the government that is working with the people that's how i would say it what i mean is that encourage them to go ahead and do what and this boss that is where the thing is we don't need to start fighting amongst ourselves start fighting again about agpg and uaag and all of that no let's just focus on the committee and the people the committee is working with that is just the side we we, we just have to focus on period so it's not about taking sides and belonging to in that that represents our interest as masses because it has to do with disbursement and that's the interest of all of us so if we support that side and then uh, encourage them to go ahead and do this disbursement that means we are favoring our own cause because that is what it is exactly all right the issue of palliative or grants i do not believe as a person it is palliative because um uh why i said i don't believe it's palliative even if it is small for whatever reason it is we, we didn't go for palliative and um we cannot be getting palliative now uh, uh you know i've heard of things like projects is inside and all of that and uh, then the, the this other cash side and we have had arguments like government is doing focusing on the project or something and all of that and so uh, maybe they want to keep more money to do projects and then give out this other side uh, this other part for the for the people to have something so you know uh, because we need cbn to disburse this money we cannot decide final the finality of how everything goes government will look at the con 